All right, so I wanted to go through a quick example here of uh, building a new mode in Python. And to kind of show that off, we're gonna go through and build one. I'm gonna name that Python. I'm gonna to switch to Pro English just for the little speed bump. And let's pop into prompt here. And I'm actually gonna take the following sentence and translate it into Python code. Do not surround with backticks. Do not give a description of what the code is doing or give a result that represents just the sentence required. No additional code needed. Um, yeah, that's the process and paste in. Um, Okay, so it's a Python code. Do not surround with backticks. Why give a result that represents just the sentence provided? That's actually fine. Um, cool. And I'm actually going to leave the examples empty for now. Um, but and, and this is how I usually write my prompts, just nice and simple. I find that this works good enough, um, and it's easy to modify and edit, and the model seems to understand it. So let's go ahead and script to read CSV file from current directory. Uh, cool. So it looks like it used pandas. Uh, use CSV dict reader to read from current directory. Cool. Um, open CSV dict reader. Yeah. Okay. And ours in this case is customers.csv. Um, and so uh, we can do. Uh, Iterate over rows in CSV dict reader instance and print out each column's value. Um, for row in, uh, cool, yeah, indentation wasn't correct there, but uh, I think that's actually good. So let's uh, change to desktop, uh, Python 3, uh, script.py. Nice. Okay, so this is just this is just fake. Uh, I just generated this using a uh, faker, um, but that's looking good so far. Uh, so that kind of matches our our given input here. Um, and uh, yeah, it's reading out each column. Let's add a new line, new line, just to separate them out a bit, and we can kind of see our. Uh, just between each customer. And we can have little profiles here of each customer. Uh, cool, so. Um, function to take a person's name and email address and form a username prepended with an at symbol as a string response. Uh, not quite right. Um, so let's do um, what we can take here. So let's just go ahead and finish this for it so we can do um, you know, let's take their, uh, let's take their name, uh, or let's see his voice. Uh, so, uh, split name variable, lowercase, and take only first letter of second portion. Yeah, that's almost correct. Um, split name variable into first and last, append first with one character from last name, lowercase, both. That's what I wanted. Okay, cool. So, um, except first should be lowered as well. Uh, awesome. That's actually a great one to add to because it kind of like put in its own. I don't want it to add variables, right? This is strictly. Um, and you can really do this with any uh, part of the. Um, any part of your like style or anything that you want. And obviously this works for any language really. I just picked Python because I'm familiar and uh, it's pretty popular, but um, I mean, uh, yeah, we could do. So for each user, we can basically go through and do a uh, username. So let's just do print, create username. <coughs> um, uh, and we're going to give it uh, row at, um, I believe it would be just name and row at email. Now let's just see if that works. Create username is not defined. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Just got to move the definition up there so it has reference. 
And oh, okay. So yeah, we just need to um, obviously just return first, um, and that should give us yeah, Johnny J. Uh, <laughs> Johnny J. From Jessica Norton. So we probably have some kind of issue here. Uh, is it splitting? It's just splitting on every character, probably. Johnny J. Oh, it's, yeah. It's just the one above. Uh, so it, it is actually fine. Uh, I think the default is to split on spaces, but I'll specify it there. Um, cool. So you know now we have uh, user like essentially usernames. We can just like go Twitter style and do an at there. Um, uh, you know we could actually figure out a way to pull out. Um, you know maybe because the addresses are, um, uh, y you know just one big string. Um, I wonder if we could figure out a way to pull out the uh, the state. Um, so function to pull state code from address string. Let's see what it comes up with here. Regex, that seems pretty reasonable actually. Um, and you know what? This is another good example of what I don't want it to do. Um, in my case, I'd never really want it to import for me, uh, cause I'm just going to be writing, uh, I mean, obviously you can just <laughs> cut and paste it back up there, but, um, generally I, I don't mind doing my own import. So I'm actually going to add that as an example and then just go back to the recording history. Yeah. And just copy and paste that into the, the example there. Cool. So, um, and then we can just do get state code. Let's just do my other simple print here. Uh, get state code, and we can just do row. And I think the row name is it's just address, of course. Um, address. So uh, get state code is not defined. Yeah, because we're running this as a script. So I've just got to put this up here. Basically, it's going to read the whole file top to bottom. Need to actually define the function before it's opening the dictionary or the CSV and trying to print from it. So cool, yeah. Looks like we have Nevada, Michigan, etc. Um, 